hello everybody welcome to my youtube channel and in today's video i'm going to show you how you can create these type of box shadows i mean after watching this video you will be able to create this type of box by custom css or i will show you how you can also create them on wordpress so this is a wordpress site and i am going to build a box with shadow with elementor and also i am going to create a uh, html page and design a similar box shadow by html also so you can uh, uh, learn to create the box shadow with custom css for any kind of websites so let's get started into it and for first tutorial i'm going to create one of these with uh, elementor so i have just uh, gone to the page and edit with elementor and uh, after doing this i have come to this page and now i can just click the plus icon and uh, choose a four section four column section and i can just take another section here so it looks more good and visible so i can just okay so this is the section i'm going to work on and this is a column as you can see inside this column i have uh, inside this section i have four columns and in this one and this one i'm going to create two box shadows so let's drag and drop a heading and a text editor so the heading i am going to reduce the font size to 20 pixels or maybe 25 is good okay so i just now i just can go to the uh, edit of the column and go to the style and go to the border and i can give the border radius 7 for top right bottom left and now you don't see any effects but if i click block uh, box shadow as you can see here i can choose the color from here i can yeah so now i can just uh, reduce the blur to three pixels and spread is okay vertical seven three and here is also three and i just can blur it more and more blur it to 10 and spread to minus 5 so if i just close this one so as you can see this is a box shadow looking like this if you want the uh, shadow effect to both sides like top and the left we can also do that just go to here again and vertical will be zero horizontal will be zero spread will be uh, one blur will be less and the color we can just uh, do it more okay so as you can see this is uh, in the four sides so this is a box shadow and i can just copy this and paste it here and can delete this one so these are this is two box shadows but these are looking uh, mixed together so for this i can just go to the edit edition of the column and advance and say like padding it will be like a seven and for this one also go to the advance and the padding will be seven so Oh, sorry margin will be seven so as you can see these are different and separate now and this is uh, the box shadow tutorial for wordpress let's uh, let's delete it now i don't need it in my page so let's update it and i'm going to close the page here so these are uh, there are a lot of uh, shadows in this website get css scan.com and there are more beautiful box shadows you just can copy them from here and this is the box shadow i just uh, created 
I just copied from here. This is the CSS code for this box shadow. So if I just uh, clear all from here and copy a new one like this one, I just can tap and copy. Here, as you can see, this is the code for this, this type of box shadow. So I'm going to create one box shadow with the HTML now. And this is the, uh, this is a HTML file I just made on my C drive and under HTML one folder. Uh, there is a admin.html file which I can edit with uh, oh, the visual studio code open with code so as you can see this is the file here so I can just uh, make a section here and I, under this section I can make for uh, div text or for columns so let's get started and let's say div okay so under this div i'm going to have one more div i'm sorry So uh, under this div, I'm going to take a h, uh, h4. So under this h4, like uh, exam for h4 title. And after this, I can take a paragraph tag. So inside this paragraph tag, I can uh, take the code here for example I mean the, you can take any uh, text uh, for example I just have the quotes now so I have put it in the quotes so now we have to just uh, copy this column here I am taking this as column and paste it here paste it here paste it so I have pasted it four times one two three four and I will just uh, de uh, design them I will just save them first and show you how they are looking now uh, open with uh, Chrome yeah so how did they are looking like this right now this is a column and the second column is from here to here third column is from here to here so let's get started just go to the uh, so I am targeting this div as you can see if I just click here this is targeting this one so I'm inside this div I have four divs so let's style this one so I'm going to say like uh, oh, display display flex and save this by control s or you can of course save from here so let's reload this file now so as you can see these are flexible right now or i have made them that by the flex uh, css so one two three four they are in one line now and now i just can give them some margin margin like uh, 70 pixels from everywhere from up and down right and left and control save just uh, refresh it so as you can see i have like 70 pixels from here 70 from here 70 from here and 70 from here so uh, for uh, making some space on between them i can just uh, go for this div here and style them like uh, no uh, there will be margin again margin will be like uh, 20 pixels not 20 is very okay so let's get 7 pixels and just copy this one 
and paste it for everyone of course remember to give the space here again here Let's save this one first and reload it. Okay. Okay, so here is the problem now. I have to put the colon for everyone here so I'm sorry for that I didn't do this this was a mistake and now everything's okay let's reload it again as you can see now they said they are looking fine now and I just can make the box shadows for them now so for doing this I have to go to the inspect here for understand easy understanding easily just can select this box here div box here and say like a border one pixel solid so when i press solid uh, we have a border here and white so i have said like white so the border is gone because the background and border color is same so don't worry now we can say box shadow and give it a uh, 3 pixel 3 pixel uh, 3, 3 pixel 3 pixel so now I can edit this as I want so now I will say 0 0 for this one also and I will increase or decrease from here okay 3 is good here now so I just can go for another uh, edit like uh, padding 10 pixels from every side uh, let's increase it more to 15 pixels and the border will be rounded so border radius is like uh, 7 pixels my favorite number so 5 pixels is good here and I just can copy this I just can copy this CSS and go to the editor again okay so this is one let's cut the margin here let's control save it and reload it so as you can see after even the reload uh, everything's okay now so uh, the the design is applied for one box only so for doing this of course I have to go for these ones also so I'm going to copy the style from here ctrlc and will paste it for everybody here for you for you and for you also and let's save it now if I refresh this so as you can see these are the box shadows made for four boxes